So this is the replacement to the Windsurfer 1 design and it's it, it's totally different to be honest. It's just so, so much better. So the Windsurfer 1 design is kind of the board that started it all off and it's what made sailing really popular and accessible uh, at a club level in like the 70s and the 80s, I think even the 90s to a certain degree. So the idea, you get a long board, as long as it's not too uh, expensive, a, a board that you can use to learn on because it's very buoyant, it's got a high volume, a board that can be used by the family members regardless of their size or uh, their gender or what have you, and it can be a board you can also race on as a one design board. So the Windsurfer class has been around a long time, it's very popular, and this board is massively lighter than its predecessor. This is 15 kilos, the predecessor was over 20, so this is so much better to sail. Um, and they've done that predominantly by uh, using epoxy in the board. Uh, the volume is also more, they've improved the volume to, um, or increased it I should say, 229 litres. It used to be around about the 200 mark. Uh, I used to sail the Mistral competition lighter boards and they were I think 260 off the top of my head so even more buoyant but um, this is a really good compromise uh, what else can I say about the board yeah I, I got on the board and I wasn't sure what to expect because I will admit I was not a great fan of the Windsurfer 1 design uh, but this board it's got much better handling characteristics and I've sailed it probably through to about 25 knots Uh, no full battens except for the top, uh, no cambers, so it's very simple, it's very good in low winds, but you do get to around about 20, 21, 22 knots of wind, and it becomes a real handful. Up until then, it's great, and I've just been out, you know, throwing it around a little bit for a few hours, we really enjoying it, but yesterday, we had perhaps 25, 30 knot wind, and it was just unmanageable, so, yeah, I, I got mixed thoughts about whether they should have upgraded the sail, but it does make the overall package much more accessible for uh, three and a half grand. It, otherwise, it would cost a lot more. But um, I don't think there's too much more to say about the sail. Basically, what you get in the box is what you use. Uh, the mast is 40% carbon, two-piece mast. So the mast is probably different to what uh, we were using back in the day. But um, very sim simple clip-on boom. We weren't using those back in the day. Uh, but yeah, other than that, there you have it, the Windsurfer LT class, and I'll be uh, seeing how I go racing against other people this year on the same board and sail, and as I say, the beauty is it's simple, but to race them well uh, against other really good sailors is another thing, it's quite an art to race them well, so I've got a bit of work to do, but um, hopefully, hopefully we'll go in the right direction.